What's going on everybody? We have made it back to Charleston. I'm here with Evan and Mal. Hi Mal. Sawyer and Nathan are running around somewhere. We're here for Holy Smokes yet again, barbecue festival. And it's been a beautiful day so far. We just got back from a little shrimping excursion. So I'll roll that footage right now. Shrimp tour. You can just tell based on the coloration of these guys. They still have their eyes, they still have their antennas. This is an extremely fresh product. No discoloration to the exoskeleton or the meat inside. These are beautiful white shrimp. White shrimp, going to have a blackish tail and a yellow neon strip at the end of the tail. We have another commercially viable species that we're not really catching this time of year, and those are brown shrimp. Brown shrimp, you're going to catch in warmer months of the year, usually July and August. These white shrimp, you're going to catch in usually some of the cooler months of the year. We are on a shrimp tour. Shem Creek, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. We got Captain Brian with us, showing us the entire history of this area. We just took a look at the freshest shrimp I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen a shrimp like that. I want to eat it just, just yeah, live. Thought, it looks thought, so good. I thought you were going to like, just grab one and take a bite for a minute there. It's eyes that looked at me. <laughs> They're in here filleting everything so that as fresh can be. Um, some of the gentlemen behind the counter actually go out and catch and harvest what you see in front of you. Flounder, we get the southern and summer flounder here. These trigger fish, awesome white clean flesh with a great texture. Look at that bird. You can go out and catch your own shrimp with a cast net. Now this is not for shrimp or fish to swim through. You're actually casting it where you want it to form a circle. So I'm going to bring everything together. I'm gonna grab about halfway down the net, put it in my teeth. You're just gonna hold on last second, and then I'm gonna be letting go of my teeth. Not the best throw. Oh, there's one. So you'll see that black tail and that little pronounced yellow strip at the end. Just let go. Good stuff. First Hell time. yeah. That was a good one. Good. That's it. Awesome. Good deal. Open it up. As long as it opens some. Oh, there's shrimp. Shrimp! Yeah, no, no got one. one. <laughs> you got one. Success, man. Where is it? I can now say I've caught a shrimp. Careful with that. Not too shabby. <laughs> Good deal. Nice. Excellent throws. Open up. That's fine. Wait, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, you beat me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Oh, we got the day's take, boys. Hey. Shrimp! These are perfect shrimp, bait, bait shrimp. size for shrimp or for fishing on uh, Sunday now. How many did you get? Too many to count, dude. Fresh out of shit creek. <laughs> <laughs> dude, thank you Preach. so much, bro. This is awesome. Yeah. That's so Look at that. Nice haul. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Great throws in. Dude, nice. shrimp is life. Look at the little air bubble in there. That's cool. That's really interesting. Gills. Wow. Yeah, Going back in the water to yellow live another tail. five deal. months. <laughs> Pull until it gets to the edge. Oh, oh. Not even legal size, I don't think. You can always hold a blue crab, pointer finger, and thumb in that joint right there. Ooh, there you and go. then they can't reach down and get you. Ow! <laughs> oh my god! Bradley, they pinch! Yeah, they're crabs. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> now you know why they call it a blue crab. How strong Beautiful are the coloration. clamps? You want to feel it? No, dude. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get you good. You should ask my dad. He'll get you good. Sometimes you can put him to sleep. I got to tuck his little claws in, cover his eyes, <laughs> and give him a little, little nice light back rub for about 30 seconds. All right, he's out. <laughs> now, y'all ready? Now get him. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. <laughs> these are protectors for the for the luck, good luck. So, oh, yeah? Chase away bad evil spirit stuff. Can't keep me away though. <laughs> We're now at King Barbecue here in Charleston. You been here before? I have not. I'm very excited. Very excited. Very excited. Look at this guy. Howdy. What's up, bud? How are you feeling today? Like a million bucks. Yeah. <laughs> we may or may not have run out last night. Boys, great to meet y'all. Good, to meet, good to meet you, brother. From Free Fly, they just uh, hooked me up with a bunch of great gear. So thank you for that. Yes. You're know, very welcome. We'll, we'll be sporting that in a couple days when we go out fishing, which I'm very excited for. I got stocked up for winter. All my pants, all my pants are Free Fly. <laughs> great pants. Anyway, what do we got here today? This These looks like a shrimp toast slider. These are some hush puppies, some crispy okra, a little bit of fried That's okra, okra here. That looks real good. A little, a little bit of fried okra never hurt anybody, right? Nice. Oh boy. <laughs> is it gooey? That's so good. 
It does look good. Wow. The chicken, mustard barbecue sauce, ribs, a little duck no, breast. What is that, mushu pork you said? Mushu pork on noodles. Sausage. No, There's some pork belly around here somewhere. Evan, what's the best bite so far? You know, the chopped pork is super good. The duck breast, the ribs. <laughs> I think it might be the ribs. I'm gonna go ribs. Yeah. That rib, that got me in a good way. All the good ways. I think the duck. I was gonna also say the, the shrimp. Salad. I was gonna say the so shrimp, shrimp slider and the, duck, slider and the duck, and the duck breast, breast is memorable. Very good. I like keeping the bone on the duck breast. Yeah, that was cool. At first, I was like, I don't like the fact that there's bone on this, yeah. and it's only a little bit on the bottom. But now I'm thinking about like how it cooks and like yeah. probably maintains structure and holds in juice and everything. And I'm into it. I like it. Coming up. <laughs> a couple langs. Is that what these are? Very nice. What do you use that fat for? The toast for our sandwich. Uh, we use that oh, for right. that. King barbecue, very good. Boys, what are your thoughts? So good. The ribs. God damn. God damn. The ribs. The ribs, the duck. The duck. Definitely going back there. If you're ever in Charleston, go check them out. But now, we're at the festival. Come on, BJ. We were really concerned that we were gonna have to peel like 40 pounds no of face. shrimp. No <laughs> face. <laughs> Mr. Connecticut himself. Massey, you want shotgun? <laughs> Orange. That's so bad. That's that's that one. So holy smokes. Here you go. Yeah. Somebody yeah. shotgun that red one? Of yeah. course. <laughs> Good barbecue over there. Matt, what is happening here? How do you even make smoke that thick? That's how we start off the holy smoke. This is the procedures. Uh, yeah. Try to reach out to the heavens. <laughs> uh, that's wild. I, we think it's paint burning off, but I, that's nuts. So I put a porter bar in there. How's it going, buddy? Oh, these look shitty. <laughs> How many did you cook today? I think we're on 116 wrapping right now. Really? Yeah. Damn. Tallow on a brisket. Is that a new thing? Uh, yes, I actually started this in 2012. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Hey buddy, what do we got here? A little smoked brisket action? I need like a perfect slice for that. I'm gonna let you guys take some. Today is the day. It is Saturday, day of the festival. It's seven o'clock in the morning, really cold, it's really rainy, it's really windy. How you guys feeling? Alive. <laughs> well, the good part about this event is that we're in the coastal village, so we're cooking shrimp. If you couldn't tell by the shrimping excursion that we went on yesterday. But uh, what's our dish today, bud? We've got a smoked shrimp scoggin. We're bringing it back from Finland. It's gonna be smoked shrimp, uh, of course, local shrimp from South Carolina, white shrimp. We are gonna bind that with a little bit of mayo and sour cream, some capers and dill. Finish it with diced red onion, dill, lemon wedge, just going on top of a rye toast. And of course, we're smoking the shrimp first. Yeah. And then we're gonna chill them down. And I'm excited because everyone else has been cooking for days, popping out hundreds of briskets, and we just got here and it's time to start cooking and we'll be done in what, 10 minutes? Oh, yeah. These are local Charleston white shrimp. Look at how beautiful they look. They are so clean and fresh smelling. I think that's the most shrimp I've ever seen in one setting. Shrimp! That's shrimp, about... shrimp, 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 shrimp! These are all the ones you caught in that cast net yesterday, right? Yeah, caught them all in the cast net. One, one throw. One throw. One throw per bucket. Right out of Shit Creek. That's a lot of shrimp. Trying to get these shrimps smoked off, so we just found this random pit. I don't know whose it is, but getting the fire started. Yeah. What's the plan? Cold smoke, hot smoke? I mean, what is a cold smoke anyway? Sub 90 degrees if you want to be a dick about it. Then no, hot smoke. <laughs> Lowish. Boom! <laughs> Evan, you think that's enough shrimp? Nope. Damn! Breakfast of champions right that's there. Big ass wonton. Yeah, dude. Look good. It's got some girth to it. Erin, would you like wine? Did you say, would I like wine or one? Because I would like both. <laughs> Body by green eggs. Warm. What do we got here? <laughs> a little uh, mackerel, smoked mackerel dip, wonton. Ooh. Why are you going to give my I man the wonton? I love mackerel. Evan, <laughs> <laughs> hey. what's happening, bud? I don't know. I'm not looking over there. It's your favorite thing. A, a grease fire and a reverse flow. Uh-oh. 
Yeah. On lemon duty? Yes, sir. How are they feeling? Juicy. Are we cooking these to tenderness or medium rare? I'm gonna go for a nice medium. Ooh, got some good smoke color on those. Freshly baked rye. Yeah. How's the bread cutting business treating you folks? Oh, man. So far, so good. Changing careers. It's a lot of bread. Bread cutter. Yeah. I might just have to roll the sleeves up and get a little blood pan. Shrimp time. Ooh, it smells shrimpy over here, bud. Yes, sir. Tasting right. good? Really good. That's lovely looking. Good. Oh, wow. Nice and sweet. That's with no seasoning, too. It's uh, wild. Yeah, get those shrimp in that mayonnaise. We got mayonnaise, sour cream, dill, capers. Where are these from? Welton's Tiny Bake Shop. Look at that chocolate croissant. Croissant. Oh, 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 oh. some of that. Yup. First plate up. Maybe a little bit less onion than that. This is our onion all day, though. A little freshly baked, toasted off rye. There it is. Cool. That's it, right there. Smoked shrimp scoggin here in Charleston. We went and learned about the shrimp yesterday. We pulled them right up out of Shem Creek. We smoked them today. Mix them with a little bit of sour cream, mayo, capers, a little bit of dill, topped with red onion, all the way. Oh, hold on, we gotta get the lemon here too. All the way from Hamilena to Charleston. Really good. Just when I feel like really confident about the dish we're serving, yeah, like, yeah it just looks amazing. <laughs> What's the dish today, Elliot? Uh, we got some barbecue shrimp with yeah. a little curry flavor in it. Hell yeah! Looks Lots so good. Garlic. Thank you. Did you cook those all on this uh, yakitori? Uh, I, I put a smoke on them on a BQ grill over some coals first and nice. then uh, cooled them off and finished them on this. Oh yeah. All right, service is about to start. Found myself a beer, so it's time to get this day started. Ronnie, tell me about your dish. We got these really nice select oysters off the coast of North Carolina. It's kind of like a New Orleans style, like creamy sauce. Got leeks, mushrooms, uh, a bunch of garlic. We uh, we actually put a bunch of oyster liquor in there and smoked the oyster liquor. Oh. And then like added a bunch of leeks and shallots and mushrooms. We made some creamy grits, like brie grits, nice. which are fun delicious part of my French and then we uh, they're like some fancy microgreens because we're fancy you gotta be fancy yeah, I mean you gotta be fancy I'm gonna be right. eating your fried oysters all day yeah it's my favorite thing <laughs> going on over here What's boys happening, man looking good we got a half chicken that we're cooking over some hickory here finish it in some Alabama white sauce Woohoo! very good man love it smells good yeah he said we'll never miss another one so this is the shot. Rice. All right. <laughs> oh, what do you got there? There you go. There you go, man. We got you, bud. Oh, that's, that's really good. Ruben, what do you got going over here, bud? We got some arroz and guandules. Uh, recipe of my man Hector Garate. Really traditional rice out there in Puerto Rico. Si, está suave. The man himself. What's up, brother? Dunking in the white sauce. That's it. That's the magic right there. Love it. Wow. So we got what looks like a bologna kimchi slider, which one, one more. I don't know. Sounds kind of interesting. How is it? We got a situation here. She's dripping. She's good. Solid. Really good. This is interesting. <laughs> Where are these ribs from? Hunan style fried rib. Collaboration between uh, Home Team and King Barbecue. Oh, very nice. These are more, great ribs. more King Barbecue. Love it. What do we got? A little boudin, a little sausage, cheesy grits, coleslaw. Okay. Where's the corn? Got a little beef rib action going on. Very nice. Sorry. Oh, just in time for the hey, best slice. Show him, show him slice Look one. at that. That's number one. That looks good as hell, buddy. See the separation of the individual muscle fibers? Arnis, you're just a gentleman. Oh, we're approaching the fourth slice. Where's Leonard? Corn to the line! That looks really good. It'll do. Hot corn soup to the line! Sausage? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? In your mouth? Yeah, I got you oh. think of the camera. 
Oh, man. Oh, Paprika hot wing. Ooh, 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 that looks juicy. Ooh, oh, that's good. Paprika? Hungarian paprika. You're Hungarian, right? Yeah, Fijis is Hungarian. So that's, that's our house. That's <laughs> our signature sauce. That's really good. My dad loves to tell stories about my grandfather making sausage in the basement of the house he grew up in. Chicago. Really? And then your traditional East Texas hot good. Gotta love the old hot, hot link if I'm trying Try to sell sausage. it. I was gonna say, it depends on where you're at. A little beef rib action. How many racks do you guys cook? What, 80? It only seems right to have some redfish on the half shell. You know, it's coming together pretty well. <laughs> All right. Oh. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Love it. What do we got there, buddy? Uh, so chorizo con papas, uh, with smoked cream cheese, fried empanada with my buddy Al Frugoni. It's got his chimichurri that my buddy James brought, and then my buddy Clark, who's it's ever so fryer, he makes the jalapenos. It's real fucking tasty. Love it. Shout out Al. It got cold. It's cold. We're huddling around the fire. It got really cold. Bitter cold. I don't like it. It's cold. End of the event, Evan, how'd it go? Went great. We sold most of what we cooked. The dish was great. If you don't run out of food, that's a good thing. Yeah. But we also well, didn't waste a bunch of food. Yeah, the weather was touch and go, but... It's not ideal. Go. We touched, and now, now it's, it's time, time to go. go. <laughs> Poor little guy. Too many shrimp for this guy. Huh? <laughs> It's Sunday, festival is over. It is like 7.30 in the morning. We're on a boat. We're gonna catch some fish today. I know I say that every time we go fishing. Ooh, look a bird. It's gonna happen. A bit of a chilly day yet again. No cold. But we're covered in some beautiful free fly gear. Hell yeah, Right, we buddy? Are. That's right. <laughs> Handled. Uh, smoking bones? <laughs> no, ro 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 rolling bones. Rolling bones. Rolling bones. Scores in between. Got it, got it. Thanks for bringing us out to you. What kind of fish are we uh, targeting today? We're going to target whatever bites. I'm hoping for some, a lot of trout and uh, some redfish, maybe some sheephead and black drum too. Love it. Got some shrimp in there. Nathan, yeah, show us how it's done, how buddy. It's done, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. On the board, baby. Evan, why are you so much better at fishing than me? What do you got there, bud? Speckled sea trout. Oh, yeah. First one in the boat. So, uh, What's the size limit on those? Bye, sweetie. Uh, 14 inches. Lost one hook so far. <laughs> Caught the ground. That's better than catching nothing. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Brad Sucks at Fishing. So far, I caught the ground. Everyone else? Evan, you're leading the pack with that one. I like being on a boat, though. How's it going now? Pretty fun. Oops. So, this sucks. On hook number three for the day. All right, on hook number four. <laughs> I crossed my line with Mao, who then immediately caught a rock. So uh, now we're on to hook number five. <laughs> who caught it? Oh, Evan. Shocker. Haha, -ha, look at that red. It's a good looking red. It's all right. This spot is good. You ready? Oh, oh no! Oh. You <laughs> sucker, mother! <laughs> Damn it! I got a little bit of it on film, so we can uh, we'll pause it. Son we'll of a! <laughs> <laughs> that was a trout, you said? Yeah. The yeah. one that got away. <laughs> I never thought I'd have one of those stories. Oh, yeah, that's, ooh, that's a good dude. one. That's a good one. That's a pretty fish, bud. Nathan will now demonstrate a perfect cast. No problem. <laughs> Come right up. Nice. <laughs> Nathan, nice fish, bud. Oh, That's a fish in the boat. 14 on the dot. Oh. Nice. Back in That's legal. Number two for Nate. I got one and it wrapped me around the boat. Great. Dude, you look good. With close. Fish. I guess. That's a pretty fish. Got one, Mal. Ooh. Whoa. Nice, bud. Yes. Oh, nice. nice job, bud. Hold it out. Hold it out. Yeah. Uh, see. Like, board me. First catch of the day. Got me some oysters on the line. 
Your favorite. <laughs> Yummy. Dude, Mal, that's a big one, bud. Look at that fish. Yeah, buddy. We got lunch now. Yeah, bring some good at catching fish. Yeah. Nice one, dude. Hell yeah. You got another one? Hold that. Yeah. Finally caught a fish. Look at this guy. What's this called? Sheep's head. Sheep's head. Is there anything that's gonna poke me? Like, oh yeah, those. Oh, has got a big one. Oh, what? Oh, good. Nice, man. <laughs> yeah, but you, my, mine's is like maybe smaller, oh, cool. but it's cute. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Whoa. Fish number two. Hook number seven. Yeah, only took nine hooks. <laughs> All right, folks. Last fish of the day. Looking good though, that's a nice fish. Beauty. I'd eat that. So we were gonna keep that red fish that I just caught, but uh, I dropped it. Just went right back into the water. But luckily, Ethan's got one. Nice. Is that a red fish? Yep. Ah. Hey buddy. You want some of that? <laughs> The best kitchen and like, <laughs> and just like that, back on dry land. I think Mal won today only because I quit early. Yeah, you did quit early. That was nice of you. Well, you caught a fish and then you stopped fishing so we could catch some fish yes. for like an hour. You're welcome. And then you picked up a pole and immediately caught a fish. <laughs> I just, You're welcome. I just don't, Something I, had to be on camera. yeah, man. I just I don't have it in me, I guess, to be a good fisherman. That was really awesome. So, big shout out to Bo, Captain Bo, and Will from Free Fly. We're rocking some nice free fly pants right now. How you liking those? Great. A lot of room. They're really lightweight, which is nice, but unless it's quickly. like 40 degrees and raining. Not the warmest day on the water. Now it's time to head to the airport. So I think that's gonna do it for our Charleston trip. Always a good time coming here. If you haven't come to Holy Smokes, I highly recommend it. It's a great fest. A lot of cool people, a lot of great food. And if you're in the area and you wanna take us fishing next year, hit us up. But all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by hitting that subscribe button, that YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If I met you at the fest, it was great hanging out, and I hope to see you next year. And until the next time I see you, please, Let's go cook something outside. Peace.